Tampa and Boston. The Rays have been playing very good baseball, trying to hunt the Yankees down. It still could be you know, too little too late. But they're going to look to continue to pile up results in their favorite against the Red Sox at about a minus 160 price here. The total's low. It's out of seven. What do you think about Tampa Bay and Boston? Yeah, I think the total is about right on this point because if it takes eight to beat you, I'm probably going to lean on going under here in this matchup. Rich Hill, left-handed pitcher on the mound, 4.58 XFIP, which is a little bit elevated. Now to right-handed batters, he's actually been okay, Kevin, over the past month in baseball. 69 batters that he's faced, a 259 weighted on base percentage. Now, if we take a look and flip it over and say, what are we going to get out of Rasmussen on the mound? 3.43 XFIP number, K percentage. Very good here, close to 30%, but take a look at these splits here. Kevin, he's a right-handed pitcher against lefties over the past month, a weighted on base percentage of 117 with an ISO of 036. And that's through 56 batters. If we flip it over to the right side, a 224 weighted on base percentage. I don't see a ton of runs here. And we're talking about the ultimate under ballpark. If you're looking from a pitcher's perspective, that's down in Tampa. I'll take the under in this one here. Interesting spot to stay low. The Yanks are minus 900 to win the division. Toronto has again jumped Tampa Bay 12 to 1 now. On the Blue Jays, Rays at 17 to 1. If you timed this correctly, you could have probably found a way to get a big, big Tampa number, the lightest Yankees number in a long, long time, and feel decent about it, though it's tough, you know, because you're still dealing with a lot of juice. My question, though, is do you think we are going to be talking AL East odds from now until the finish of the season? Or is this going to be buttoned up here and the Yankees are going to keep everybody at bay? I mean, it really should be. I'm actually surprised it even got this low. But even if we take a look and say, oh, five or six games, that's massive in a month's time frame. And quite frankly, less than a month's yeah. time frame now. I think the Yankees will have handled their business, working some things out. Because you can't expect everybody yeah. coming from behind, Kevin, to play really good baseball while the Yankees still flounder. Mm-hmm. You're going to catch a stretch where the Yankees win 7 out of 10, and it's good night, everybody else.